Yo guys! So if you ever wanted to run Windows apps on Android, now you can. You know, this has been one of my most requested topics of all time, and for the longest time I told people that you cannot run Windows apps on Android. But now, thanks to a recent release of Wine 3.0 for Android, it's possible to do. Okay guys, so first you want to start off by downloading Wine 3.0 for ARM on your Android device. Now, just to give you some background context, Wine has been around for a while, and if you ever used Linux before, you probably encountered Wine. Wine is used so that you can run Windows apps within Linux. Now, recently there has been a port for Android, so you can download this APK, and it will try to emulate the Windows apps on your Android device. So once you download and install Wine, you can open it up, and once you open it, you're going to be in a GUI that sort of looks like Windows. Now the start menu is only going to have two options, basically to run and open up the control panel. And you do have a command prompt, unfortunately right now nothing is resizable which is kind of annoying. Um, but if you go to run and you can go to browse, you can browse your file system for an APK and try to run a Windows EXE. Now right now I don't have any so I'm going to go and find one to download. There are many recompiled ones over XDA or you can try a normal EXE. So what I'm going to use is try Notepad++ which is recompiled for Windows RT and I found this over on XDA. So once you go and unzip Notepad++, I'm going to go back and try launching it within Wine. Okay, so I found the EXE and I'm going to go and launch it and go to run. And unfortunately, it doesn't work. And I hate to say it, but this has been the case for many of the Windows applications that I've tried. I've even tried installing Microsoft Visual C++ in order to run another application, and even that still ended up crashing. So like I said, this is still an early development, you're not going to be able to do too much with it, but I imagine as time goes along this will get better, and probably some very basic Windows apps should be able to work. So guys, definitely try it around, give it a try, leave a comment below about what apps you're able to get running. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.